Okay, maybe it is a common question pero uh, marami sa inyo ang hindi pa nakakaalam kung paano ang isang work permit uh, holder o may status ng work permit ay pwedeng mapunta o pwede makakuha ng uh, permanent residency dito sa Canada. Diretso na po tayo, no? May limang pamamaraan po tayo kung paano kayo magiging permanent resident from work permit. So, iba't ibang proseso, iba't ibang uh, way, iba't ibang stream, iba't ibang entry, iba't ibang level din po yung kung paano kayo magiging uh, permanent resident from work permit. Ayon po kay Indira Duarte ng uh, Canadian Immigration Law Firm, ang title po nito ay How to Move from Work Permit to Permanent Resident in Canada. Sabi po niya dito, obtaining a temporary work permit in Canada is often seen as a crucial step toward achieving permanent residency in the country. This is aspiration in not without merit and for those who already hold an active temporary work permit in Canada, there are multiple ways to move from temporary worker to permanent resident. Tulad po ng sinabi ko sa inyo, may iba't ibang way. Sabi ko nga, iba't iba lang yung pamamaraan na gagamitin kapag nandito na kayo sa Canada o kasabihin natin, nandyan pa lang kayo sa ibang bansa or outside Canada. So, ibig sabihin, kasama po ang Pilipinas dyan. Pero, remember po, may iba't ibang way o iba't ibang pamamaraan na kung saan hindi valid ang outside Canada at uh, nangahulugan lamang na kinekredit yung from work permit to permanent resident uh, visa kapag nandito na po kayo sa Canada. So, take note po yun, ano? Navigating the Express Entry System, Canada's Express Entry System plays a pivotal role in the journey. It uh, manages three federal programs, each offering a path to permanent residency. Understanding how Express Entry works is key. The Comprehensive Ranking System, or the CRS, points. The heart of Express Entry is a comprehensive ranking system which allocate points based on various factors. Notably, Canadian work experience can be a game changer contributing to 70 points in the core human capital factor and up to 100 points in the skills transferability factor. Additionally, a valid job offer can secure an additional 200 points. In essence, a work permit holder with substantial work experience and a job offer under Express Entry enjoys a significant points advantage, greatly improving their chances of receiving an invitation to apply or ITA and ultimately becoming a permanent resident in Canada. So, sinasabi lang po yan that this is another way na maging o po pwedeng maging uh, permanent resident dito sa Canada at ito yung sinasabi natin na isa sa pinakamabilis na programa ngayon ng Government of Canada na kung paano kayo makararating dito sa uh, sa Canada as permanent resident. Kahit na hindi kayo dumaan sa nauna o ibaba, sa mga babasahin natin, ano, sa mga pag-uusapan natin, sa lima. Kahit na hindi kayo pumasa doon, doon sa lima na yun, kung halimbawa naman meron kayong guts o kaya naman meron kayong believe na kaya nyo na lampasan yung score doon sa tinatawag nating express entry, you can do it at uh, hindi nyo na kailangan ibang proseso kundi from express entry, punta na dito sa Canada, basta mayroon kang invitation to apply as permanent resident and then come here in Canada and live here in Canada. That's express entry. Ganun lang po kasimple explanation doon. Ano? Okay, eligibility requirements. However, it is essential to recognize that simply possessing a work permit doesn't guarantee permanent residence under express entry. The first critical step is assessing eligibility to enter the Express Entry Pool. Applicants must qualify under the following federal uh, programs within Express Entry. Number one is the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the Federal Skilled Traders Program, and Canadian Experience Class Program. So yun po naman ang dapat natin tingnan. No, 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 no. Dapat masundan natin yung eligibility requirements ng mga binanggit na natin ng mga program ng federal government upang nasa ganon ay ma-qualified ka as a, uh, syempre as a permanent resident dito sa Canada walking through this express entry. Bakit ko po sinasabi ito? Kasi sabi ko nga, it, ito sa may pinakamabilis na pamaraan ko pa paano makarating dito sa Canada. Pero hindi ito parte ng pag-uusapan natin na lima sa mga susunod na pag-uusap natin. Ano? Okay, number one sa so five routes from work permit to PR in Canada. Number one po is the Canadian Experience Class. Sabi po dito, under the Canadian Experience Class, applicants can apply for permanent resident status in, uh, in about a year. Eligibility requirements include one year of skilled work in Canada, 
and meet the requirement language levels. This is a popular choice for temporary workers who may not meet the points required by the Federal Government Workers Program or the FSWP. The uh, requirements in uh, Canadian Experience class are paid continuous full-time work, work experience aligns with the skill TER0123, and the job corresponds to applicant's primary NOC. Job duties match those described in the NOC. There is no education requirement for Canadian Experience class. Okay, ang punto po natin dito, dapat meron na kayong work permit at nandito na kayo sa Canada. That is from the word Canadian Experience class. So, ibig sabihin, meron ka na experiences sa Canada na ilalaban mo na at dapat full-time yung trabaho mo. Ngayon, kaya nga po sinabing Canadian Experience class. Ngayon, from work permit, ay po pwede kang mag-apply in a certain period of time, pwede kang mag-apply sa permanent residency. So, sa tinatawag natin Canadian Experience Class, dapat meron ka nang naisuhan ka na ng work permit. And then, from work permit, sabi ko nga, mamit mo dapat yung requirements as Canadian Experience Class status. From work permit, pwede ka na mag-apply for permanent residency. And then, from then, kung may family ka, pwede mo nang i-apply yung family mo for sponsorship. So, ganun po ang ibig sabihin ng tinatawag natin Canadian Experience Class. In short, nandito na po kayo. Meron po kayong valid job offer at uh, meron po kayong work permit. Nangyayari po kasi minsan yung tinatawag nating Canadian Experience Class kapag lumipat ng employer o kaya naman ay na-invite ka dito at meron kang work experience and then from um, magkakaroon ka ng experience full-time, ang status mo ay tinatawag nating uh, uh, work, oh, work permit and then that's the time na pwede kang mag-apply into permanent residency kapag na-meet mo po yung eligibility na nabinanggit na natin kanina. Ano po? The second one is the Federal Skilled Worker Program. The FSWP, Temporary Workers in an Arranged Employment, offer from a Canadian employer can apply for permanent residency. This offer is termed Arranged Employment and applicants must meet the specific points requirements based on factors such as education, age adaptability, language, skills, and job offer. The, post the process typically takes 12 to 18 months. Yung mga qualifications po, ang sabi dito, you must have a uh, certificate, diploma, degree from a Canadian institution, or dapat meron kayong ECA, Educational Credential Assessment. Take approved language test, pwede pong IELTS, CELPIP. And then, continuous one year of a full-time skilled work experience. Work experience aligns uh, skills type 0, 1, 2, 3. And then, the job corresponds to the aligned applica applicants, primary NOC. And then, job duties match uh, those described in the NOC. So, common po ito, ano? From outside, na ka na bigyan ka ng job offer, from, then, mabibigyan ka muna ng work permit kung hindi naman tinatawag natin dual intent. Pupunta ka muna dito as a work permit ng po ang status mo. And then, from there, pwede ka po mag-apply ng permanent residency. So, ibig sabihin, dapat mamit mo po yung scores doon sa tinatawag natin credential assessment. And of course, doon sa English exams, sa qualifications ng work, and so on and so forth. So, dapat po ay pumasok po sa mga program o sa mga qualifications na yun paano sa ganun mabigyan ka ng work permit and then from work permit doon na po kayo papasok into um, permanent uh, residency yun po ang FSW from the word federal government number three provincial nominee program or PNP the provincial nominee program allows applicants to generally apply for permanent residency within a year to a year and a half Foreign workers are nominated for permanent residency by employers with specific criteria varying across provinces. Ayun, kilalang kilala nyo na po ito, no? <laughs> permanent uh, residency using the uh, uh, provincial nominee program. Common po ito sa lahat ng uh, provinces. Hindi naman lahat, kundi mostly. Lahat po ng provinces ay mayroong tinatawag nating um, PNP, yung Permanent Resident Program. So, common ito dahil isa ito sa pinakamadaling way. Masasabi natin, basta meron kang job offer, language exams, and then highly pag nominate ka ng employer in the province, wala, pwede ka na mag-apply for uh, permanent residency agad. Depende sa iyo kung anong gusto mo. Pwedeng work permit mo na and then para makapunta ka agad dito, ganun po ang ginawa namin. And then habang pinaprocess po namin yung work permit namin, nakatanggap na po kami ng letter from, from CIC na pwede namin i-process na yung permanent residency namin. And then, ipirinasas namin yung PR namin habang naglalakad kami. So, at the same time, uh, kumbaga dalawa, work permit and at the same time, 
permanent residency. Kaya nung dumating po kami dito ay, kumbaga, nakuha din namin agad yung permanent residency namin within 30 days pa lang. Parang ganun po. Ano. So, yun po ang experience namin. So, dual intent po kasi yung tinatawag nating uh, permanent uh, residency using the uh, provincial nominee program. So, depende kung bibigyan kayo. Pag binigyan po kayo ng link ng uh, employer ninyo na pwede kayo mag-apply for permanent residency, grab the opportunity po sapagkat medyo may katagalan ng paghihintay. So, one year ang experience namin sa paghihintay ng or as a from work permit to Uh, permanent residency. So, ganun po kasi yung kadali noon. Ano? Hindi ko, medyo mas ma, ano na po ngayon eh, medyo mas mahaba na. Pero noon, 30 days lang nang nag-land kami dito as work permit, na isuhan na po kami ng, ng <laughs> permanent residency. Number four, Quebec Experience Class or QEC. Similar to the Canadian Experience Class, the Quebec Experience Class, offers a path to permanent residency. However, the QEC has additional requirements, including at least two years of skilled work in Quebec and immediate level French proficiency. Kung sa federal government, mayroon tayong tinatawag na Canadian Experience Class sa Quebec, may iba ko po kasi kasi lang proseso doon. Alam niyo naman po yan. Iba rin sa kanila yung tinatawag nating process ng Quebec Experience Class. Ang, kaka- ang very common dito ay yung kanilang language exams. Of course, you will take French uh, exams. At saka, siyempre, yung work experience mo ay medyo mas mataas ng konti. So, ganun, medyo mas mahigpit sila ng konti. Pero ang balita ko naman, mas madali silang kumuha ng mga tao. Basta, na-meet mo yung mga requirements ng Quebec. Lalong-lalo na yung French uh, examinations po nila. And from there, sabi nga natin, tulad din, ng iba, magkakaroon ka ng work permit status, depende sa kung anong term nila doon, and then from there, magiging permanent uh, status po yung status mo, syempre kapag na-apply mo na and approve ka na for permanent status nga po. Number five, special streams or essential worker and healthcare worker. Canada initiated special streams in response to COVID-19 crisis. While these streams are now closed, they allowed essentials and healthcare workers to become permanent residents in Canada, demonstrating the country's commitment to welcoming skilled workers. So, lahat po ng province, I hear, uh, nangunguna dito, Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, meron silang iba't ibang program na kung saan na uh, naghikahit sila ng mga healthcare workers at mga, kumbaga, nasa transport group, retail group. Dito sa Saskatchewan, meron tayong special na health ka, uh, talagang program lang po para sa mga nurses and health uh, care workers. Meron din tayong programa dito sa Saskatchewan na hard to fill na kung saan yung mga re- nasa retail industry natin, nasa mga hotel and restaurants natin na hindi sila makakuha, gumawa din po ng program na ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, hindi nawawala ng isang probinsya ng program kung saan po pwede ka makakuha ng work permit status mo dito sa Canada or outside Canada and then from then on, ay pwede kang umapply for permanent residency. So, ibig sabihin, marami pa pong programa from work permit to permanent residency. Now, ang tanong ninyo, Kuya Rod, saan pa pwede umapply yan? Hindi po ina-apply ito, no? <laughs> programa po yung pinag-uusapan natin. Ang ina-apply po ninyo ay yung employment ninyo sa inyong mga trabaho. So, pumunta po kayo sa mga job posting sites at depende rin na po sa mga provinces o sa mga employer kung saan po kayo ipapasok dyan. Ang mahalaga, Magkaroon kayo ng legal status, which is number one, work permit. And then from work permit, kung qualified na kayo to apply for permanent residency, you can apply for permanent residency. So, depende po yan sa province, sa employer, and of course, sa program po ng CIC. Always rely to the government of Canada with regards to the program. Sana po nakapagbigay ito sa inyo ng kaunting kaalaman para na sa ganun ay lumawak yung inyong Kumbaga, pagkakalkal <laughs> ng mga information patungkol po dito sa buhay natin, dito sa Canada at kung paano kayo makararating dito sa Canada. So muli, maraming maraming salamat at kita-kita po tayo sa mga susunod na vlog. Hanggang sa muli.